Hello and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. It is Thursday evening and I would like to welcome you to Connie's Craft Along. How was it Craft Spot? This is Craft Along. Craft Spot It's not today. <laughs> this is Connie's Craft Along. So hopefully uh, hopefully going to join me and Craft Along perhaps. Welcome. Uh, if you are here, give me a hello. Hello, let me know that you're here and uh, that you're watching. And I'm just going to get this up on my other device so I can see you when you tell me you're here and say hello. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get it up on the other device. It'll come. It's thinking. There we go. Looks like it's there. Looks like we have some people here too. So. Uh, there we go. Donna's here. Hello, Donna. Welcome. <laughs> we'll see who else is going to join us this evening. Um, tonight, I have a, a fancy fold card. So <laughs> it's uh, it's a little bit, it's not really tricky. It's a little different. Um, nothing is really all that tricky if you just follow along step by step, right? <laughs> and uh, this, of course, will be recorded, so you can always go back and rewatch and stop and pause and whatever you need. So, hello, Bev, welcome. And Donna, you will recognize this card. Oh, mm, no, maybe not. It, it's from one of our online global retreats, but I don't think it's from the one that you were at. I think it was from the second one. Uh, but I, I will confess, I am recycling a, a design. But of course we do that lots of times. I've changed it up, different paper, different stuff. So uh, it'll be it'll be all fresh and, and fun, hopefully. But uh, it uh, it was a good pattern. It was a good pattern back then. So it's probably still a good pattern now. But, um, our next online retreat is this weekend, starts tomorrow afternoon and will run through Saturday. And this time we're even adding an after party. <laughs> Just like, you know, all those Hollywood people, we're going to have an after party. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll do that one on Zoom. So most of the retreat will be on our private Facebook page. And then the after party will be on Zoom. So something, something to look forward to this weekend and lots of new crafting stuff from around the globe, really. Um, <laughs> Canada, the United States, Australia, the UK, we've got it all covered for you. So, all right, let's, uh, let's flip this down and take a look at what's going on tonight. So here, here are the ingredients. <laughs> uh, I, I always put the card base down first and then it's the first thing that I tell you. So I have to dig it out. Card base, standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and one quarter. And then we have some card stock. So we have a piece of card stock that is five and a quarter by three, scored at one inch, one inch on the long side. Um, and somebody asked me one time what I mean when I say the long side. When I say long side, I mean put this across your uh, your scoreboard if you're using a scoreboard or on your trimmer. The long side, if I say score on the long side, I mean put the long side across and then you would score from long side to long side. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I tried to show you that that the score line is going across and it's right here. And can you even see that on the camera there? A little bit, right? You can see that it's, uh, where, where am I going here? <laughs> That it's a little bit raised, that's where the score is. So hopefully everybody knew that. But if I say score on the long side, I mean put the long side across your ruler. Okay. So that is that piece. And then there are two pieces of cardstock that are four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And some uh Basic white or very vanilla cardstock, depending on the background of your designer series paper. So two of them are four by two and a half. Okay. And one of them is a two and one quarter by two and one quarter square. Okay. And then we have 
a number of pieces of designer series paper. So we have one piece that is five and one quarter by four. And I've labeled it as designer series paper one. Um, you could do it all with the same. You could change them up the way I did. You can mix and match on these four pieces. Um, if, there's no right or wrong. I just, uh, not knowing where we were going with it, I figured I needed to give you a little bit of direction. So I said, pick, make this the first pattern. So there we go. <laughs> Hello, Doreen, welcome. <laughs> uh, second pattern of the designer series paper. And these are both four inches by two and a half inches. And there are two of those. This paper, if you're wondering uh, where all this loveliness is coming from, uh, this is the Dainty Flowers 12 by 12 designer series paper, and this is a celebration item. So you could select this uh, package of paper for free with any $60 order, but only for <laughs> less than two more weeks, actually, only till the 28th of February, the end of the month. It is all over until next year. So celebration is in the, the final stages so if you don't have all the wonderful things that you would like to get now is the time uh, and this is back look at i love the back of this this is the back of uh back of this one <laughs> but uh i love the uh the ink splatters and things on here so these uh four pieces are four inches by two and three quarters. And these are the ones that I said, you can, you know, you can switch out to two and two if you want or whatever you like. And then you will need some stamps and ink, adhesive embellishments, and you will need your trimmer because we do need to uh, do a little bit of cutting, <laughs> which makes me think, oh, where did I put my, <laughs> my measurements? <laughs> I have a sheet with measurements on and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where it is right now. So we will fake it because I have a sample card here. So, <laughs> so this is the card. Uh, and you may have seen it posted on my blog after uh, one of our online retreats or, uh, or maybe you didn't, but anyway. Uh, so the front is, this is the piece that we're gonna have to cut off of the card base right there. So there's that piece and then it, folds out a third way. So that is the, the fancy of the fancy fold. Okay, so that's what we're gonna make. So let's start with our card base and I am just going to uh, grab my ruler and measure this. <laughs> I think it's three inches. Nope, it's uh, two and a half inches. Oh, it is three inches here, right? Yes, so three inches. Three inches from one end, two and a half inches from the other end. So on your card base, uh, this there's my mountain. So this is going to fold together and I'm just gonna kind of crease that for now. And then I want three inches uh, of it left. So I can put this, so this is the bottom, right? This will be the bottom of the front. So I'm gonna put that at three inches and I am going to cut but just down to my center score line. So I'm actually going to start at my score line, which is at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna put my blade down right there. And then I'm going to cut up, okay? I find it easier to start here rather than trying to just stop there, okay? And then we're gonna turn it and we're going to cut right along the score line, okay? So that is four and a quarter. And I am, uh, did I say two and a half inches? So, and then we're just going to cut up. And if our that cut didn't, oh, it did kind of go, kind, uh, kind of cut, oh, I know. <laughs> I was supposed to change the blade in my trimmer. <laughs> So we're just going to cheat a little bit because uh, one of the main things you want to do with your trimmer is make sure your cut is straight. Because I don't know about you, but I cannot hand cut <laughs> straight. So not enough for a card base anyway. I can cut a little tiny, uh, 
a strip of cardstock if I'm trimming around a, a sentiment strip, but uh, not so much on something as wide as a card base. So there we go. And I've just trimmed off a little bit extra just to be on the other side of that score line. Okay, so there is the one side of my card base with the one. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Set it up on the shelf here, but clearly not far enough and it slid right off. So it's a little bit of a trim. There we go. Okay, and then we had uh, this one piece that we had our score line that was scored at one inch. So I am just going to finish that, furnish this while I'm at it. Okay, this piece of cardstock, um, I was thinking it was the same size, but it's not. So this is just uh, for, for another project. <laughs> We're not going to use it on this card. We don't need it, so we've just removed it. Uh, but we do need this piece. Alrighty. And then we also have, um, I'm gonna pull out these pieces of cardstock. So all of these pieces of designer series paper, it's fairly easy to see where they will go. These four pieces uh, go on the, the front of these flaps and the back of these flaps. Okay, so what we want to do before we start gluing things down, we want to actually attach uh, this flap so that our paper covers our seam. Okay, so we're going to take this and this is just going to line up right at the bottom so that it matches up with that. Okay, so. I am going to use some liquid glue on here just so I can kind of wiggle it around in case I don't get it quite in the right place. There we go. And put it right down at the bottom of my card base. Okay, so I've just lined it up at the bottom and I Oops, lining it up at the edge, okay? And you can double check that you've got it right by folding uh, the front piece in, okay? I'm just gonna give that a nice press. So Bev, I hope, you're, uh, <laughs> I hope your wrist is, is healing nicely, but I have to tell you, you are not missing a banner year on the ski hill. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> we were out today and it it was not lovely. <laughs> Once you have this all assembled, then you can just start to put all of your card uh, design series paper pieces on. So I will uh, blather on a little bit and do some gluing. Uh, it is, but still struggling to cut, yes. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's a few things that uh, that are still difficult to do, but uh, it will come. It will come in time. But uh, as I say, on on the nice note, you're not missing a great ski season. So um, we have had very spring ski conditions this past week. It was hot on the hill on Saturday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was teaching and all of us, you know, the instructor group came out before in the morning and we're thinking, okay, it should be cool. Thursday, was it? Maybe it was Thursday. I don't remember. Nope. Today's Thursday. Ah, Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, it was so warm and we're all like, oh, I'm so overdressed. And, uh, and then it just got warmer and warmer and the snow was very, very soft Tuesday afternoon by the time I came off the hill. And then we were out today and uh, it was icy. So it was about minus one. So it wasn't warm. It wasn't what I would call spring skiing conditions. 
other than <laughs> there was lots of ice, um, which we tend to get in the spring in Ontario. But yeah, it was not, uh, as I say, it was not lovely. <laughs> so we have had about maybe a handful of really nice snow ski days so far this season, which is so very disappointing. Um, but it's just kind of the the year that it has been, which <laughs> which they did predict, sadly. <laughs> This looks like a wrong size. <laughs> this must have been my leftover piece. It is. Uh, and I don't have my little chopper down here. So uh, I need two and three quarters. And this is clearly more than two and three quarters. So <laughs> now I'm going to get, see, this is why. Oh, I need to change. I'm glad I didn't change my plate, actually, because uh, I'm going to have an adhesive on it. And now I have a piece of paper stuck to my trimmer. There we go. It's all good. Um, you may have noticed my white ruler here. Um, it's just a little easier to read the numbers. And how did you get it white, you ask? Well, this is a piece of Terran tape. So we have the rules of uh, double-sided tear and tape. I just stuck one down there and didn't take the top top piece off. It fits perfectly. So if you uh, are having trouble seeing the numbers on your trimmer, that's a great way to to get some white behind it so that you can just see it a little better. See the numbers. There we go. That fits better. <laughs> Should check these others before I put the adhesive on them. So once you have uh, the card all sort of assembled like this, you've done all the the tricky bits, shall we say, and then it's just the decorating bits. One more. Next weekend is uh, uh, my in-person girls getaway weekend, and I am <laughs> so excited. I'm just, I mean, they are always awesome, but I'm so excited to just uh, have a weekend away with the girls. And uh, I really think girls' weekends are, they're important. They're, you know, guys probably need it too. But I'm not a guy, so I don't know. But uh, they are so beautiful and restorative. And uh, I just find them wonderful. I, I said we needed two of these. And now I don't know why. Because there is not two in here. <laughs> you only need one piece of white. Plus, uh, plus the square. So we have an extra. Better too much than too little, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, okay. So the next thing we want to do is put our um, designer series paper onto this back piece of cardstock and this piece of cardstock. Okay, so that's. You do need two of these things. So that's those two and those two. When in doubt, <laughs> check your sample. There we go. And again, these uh, pieces of paper could be like your uh, large piece on the back of the card or the other pieces, or you can choose the third pattern. So I went with three different uh, patterns. 
and then you just need to decide which one which one you want to see all of because the inside one doesn't have anything on it whereas the outside one has some some of it covered up so i am going to uh, i'm going to i think i'm going to put this one down first so maybe we should do our stamping at this point before we put some of that stuff together so where did I have? Uh, I was just, I'm going to use the wildflower huh? uh, because it's got little flowers very similar to my designer series paper. There is, uh, there is a stamp set in the mini catalog that coordinates very beautifully with this paper, but I don't have it. So I'm using this one. <laughs> and I have rich raspberry ink, which is this purple color that is predominant, and blushing bride, which is uh, some of these flowers and things. So I think I'm just going to put a few little flowers down in the bottom corner of this piece. Right like that. Ooh, it's very, very intense. <laughs> This must be a very juicy ink pad. Um, let me just clean this off a little bit. Since it's very inky, I don't want to leave it at that. Okay. And then uh, we don't need this one, but we do need this one. So what I am going to do on this one, I have a stem and I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to start, I think, with the uh, the sentiment, just so I know where that placement is. So I'm going to go back to my Rick Raspberry and I have, I actually went and pulled the thinking of you from the season of chic stamp set, which is what this whole card featured was the whole season of chic suite but there it is there and i could use i can always use thinking of you cards because those are the ones that i donate most frequently so i figured i would use this i'm just going to put this quite close to the top And close this for a moment. Go over, and I have old olive, um, which is this green here, and in some of the stems. And I'm just going to stamp. Hmm. I don't think I really have room for two stems, so I will just stamp one stem in the middle. Some flowers around it. And I think I will do those mostly in blushing bride, just so it there's some different colors on the front. So this stamp you'll see, can you see? There's actually four flowers on the one stamp, and they fit onto the stem here. See? What does I do that? Maybe four flowers. I'm not sure whether the fourth flower will. No, it doesn't come onto there. So let's just put this right about there. Uh oh. Don't push too hard. I've got ink on my stamp. Okay, we have a little bit of ink that got down there. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. These are really funny looking flowers. <laughs> they are supposed to be very sort of creative, crafty, but I think I am going to go and grab this little guy, a little itty, itty big bit of a flower stamp, and I'm going to pull in my rich razzleberry, and I'm just going to kind of round out some of these flowers a little bit with 
this little guy because it was almost a, a slow turn. Oops. There we go. of the pink flower thing. There we go. So we've got light pink. I guess I maybe put some on this little guy since it was around all the others. Don't know that it needed it, but it got it. So there we go. Okay. So there is our piece for the front. And that is just going to go on to here. And this is going to go onto here. Okay, so we can finish putting this together. I am going to put some adhesive onto this. This is the piece for the back inside where you will write your greeting to whoever you're sending this book to. And just want to kind of get it centered. Okay. And then this one this is just slightly larger, so you've got a little bit of leeway, but you just want to make sure that it covers all of the white so that you don't see the white. So about half of the bottom is going to be stuck to the front panel here. So you can use that as your guide <laughs> when you are adding adhesive. Don't put adhesive over the whole piece <laughs> or your card will open. Uh -huh. And then the front piece, uh, same thing. So you're just going to cover over where where it meets and matches and stuff. So again, adhesive on the bottom section only. Go. Now, this part is, it is a little bit thick. It will still go into the mail just fine. Um, but I haven't put any uh, dimensionals on any of these pieces at this point because at the bottom here, there is, uh, there's three layers of cardstock and five layers. Oh, no, more than three layers of cardstock because we've got these. Uh, five layers of cardstock and seven layers of designer series paper or something. So it's it's got lots of layering going on. Um, but I think I think that I should have uh, I should edge this. It looks like it needs just a little bit of edging on there because it's going against a white background. So I am going to grab my sponge dauber. Right back. Out. I know they're handy because I was pulling some out just before dinner tonight. Let's see what we have here. Orchid Oasis and Highland Heather. Hmm. I thought I would have Rich Razzleberry, but perhaps I don't. Let's see if I have, I do have Blushing Bride. Okay. So I'm going to edge it in Blushing Bride <laughs> because it would take me longer to go get uh, my new sponge daubers and start a new one for Rich Razzleberry. On the first question, what pack is the DSP from? Oh, this uh, this DSP is Season of Chic. It's specialty paper. 
but it's the ones with all the seashells on one side uh, and then there's the gold embossing on the other. It is lovely, lovely paper. There's uh, This is petal pink and there is uh, some mango melody in there. There are also some pool party pieces, some blues in that pack as well. So it is, uh, it is lovely paper. It's in the annual catalog and it is, so it's still available. Sometimes if you're pulling out <laughs> an old card as your demo, <laughs> perhaps you have paper that is now retired, but this one is, it's not old enough. It, it was paper from the annual catalog, so it is still available. <laughs> no problem, Donna. So when you sponge the edge of um, anything, a sentiment, I do it a lot on a sentiment strip and stuff. It just, it gives some definition to your edge and works very much like adding uh, a frame layer, but without the frame layer, because this is very, it's very close to the edge. There's not really a lot of room for another piece of cardstock, but doing this just gives a little definition. And the more you lean in, uh, the wider you're you're sponging. So if you're very straight, just get a very thin ink line. I'm just making this just a little bit wider so you can see it just a tiny bit more. This is often the first the first technique a new stamper will will learn and try because it's easy to do, but it uh, it makes a big difference. That and stamping off. Do the first one that we do. Now, if I put this at the top, if I put it at the top, I it, it, it would sort of even out the thickness. But I don't really have <laughs> I don't have a pretty picture at the bottom then. So I think I'm just going to add it down near the bottom, and I think I'm going to put it on some dimensionals, even though the card is getting a little bit thick. Um, I think it'll it will still be okay for the mail. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it and hope that <laughs> the post office doesn't get upset with me. I do love my dimensionals. They add a lot to the cards. Okay, and then we will just put this down about there. Oh, don't push, it's not centered. <laughs> Saved it. Okay, we go. And now we just need some gems. What do we think? Uh, there's some iridescent pearls. So these are just the tiny ones. They could work. I think that's what's on here. Big one and a couple smaller ones. Uh, I think I want. Why do I have two packages of Milky Dots open? Look at me. <laughs> two packages of exactly the same thing. Oh, maybe because I cut some off of this one. Uh -huh. Put these on, these are pretty. They're, they're called petal pink, but they're a little bit purplish. So that's uh, that's one. Here's some bigger ones of these iridescent guys. Oh, the other one might be the iridescent uh, rhinestones. These might be pretty too. Oh, so many choices. What do we think? We've got, uh, these are the milky dots and these are the iridescent rhinestones. These are a little pinkier pink. These are a little more on the mauvey side. These might, might coordinate a little bit better. I love those. 
Okay. So let me just sprinkle some of these onto the card. Over here. Could put one on there. Could have put two on there. I'm going to put one there. <laughs> and look at me. i got to put the other one. Can I get it in here? Because, no, that looks a little bit goofy, doesn't it? I'm going to have to move this one. Uh, clearly, I put my fingers in the ink when I was sponging. There's a little pink dot in both of those places. You probably can't see it on camera, so I can get away with it. But <laughs> one is under there. <laughs> And the other one's up here. It's very faint. It's not, uh, it's not terrible, but I did notice it. So there we go. There is our card. And then when you open it, you've got the three panels. A little bit of a fun fold for you for this evening. Oh, that's a lot of apps. Fun fold for this evening. <laughs> so, um, Yes. Oh, my sponge dauber is starting to daub away. Someone asked me what, how long sponge daubers last. I don't think I have ever, like I have one for most colors. I don't think I've ever replaced one, but some of them are starting to, to peel apart. Just sort of through use, it happens. But you love it. Well, thank you, Donna. I'm glad you like it. It's uh, as I say, it's not difficult when you step through it, but it is a little bit different. So it's kind of fun. And it will stand and you could even, you know, create a little, a little triangle to stand up. Oh, doesn't look like much from the top really, does it? <laughs> but anyway, it, it will stand if anybody wants to put their card out on display. So, alrighty, let me... Let me come back here. Add this back. Okay. So there we go. Um, we didn't end up needing that other piece of white cardstock. I don't know. I don't know what I was looking at when I thought I needed two of them, but uh, but you don't. One will do. So anyway, better to have too much than too little, as we said. I hope you enjoyed the card, and I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. Always a fun time crafting together. <laughs> can't think of uh, don't think i have any other news for tonight so if you are at the online retreat on the weekend we will see you there and if not um hopefully we'll see you on facebook next week or at the girls getaway weekend <laughs> take care everyone have an awesome evening and we will talk to you all again really soon good night everyone